G'day guys, Blake here with another video and today I want to talk about this piece of equipment right here. For those of you that have watched my streams over the last few months since I've been living here, you'll notice that I have found it really, really unbearable and overall just being in this room hasn't been the greatest experience thus far. And I'm hoping this can really help me. So if your fish room has some strange smells or mold and it's really thick in the air and humid, then you might want to research something like this for yourself. So let's jump straight into the video and talk all about dehumidifiers. Okay, so to get started, why would you want to run a dehumidifier? First of all, for me, this is a brand new house and I don't want to introduce any mold and things like that into this room. When I'm running over 50 fish tanks in here, then mold is certainly going to be a present issue and something that is going to be difficult to avoid without the use of something like this. In particular, when you consider that the room is being heated, a lot of that water is gonna get up into the atmosphere and it's been very, very noticeable, even just with breathing. The, th the air is very thick in here and it's certainly got some interesting smell about it. Outside of that, uh, usually people find this a downside, but for us fish keepers, these guys output heat. So it can be a pretty good way to make the room more comfortable and also help to heat your aquariums. Whether you're still using heaters or you're gonna rely solely on something like this, that's probably a debate for how economical you can make it. But if you're gonna run one of these anyway, you might as well make use of that heat inside the room. And the other reason is purely for comfort. And that's certainly come to play here at the moment where I can barely stand to just sit in this room for an hour at a time, especially under these bright lights. And I'm sure most of us understand how humidity affects the way that we feel. Whereas you can go to a quite uh, warm area, but if it's very dry heat, it's much more bearable to somewhere of the same degrees in temperature with like an 80%, 90% humidity. You get a lot more sweaty, it's very uncomfortable, and it feels very hard to breathe. So for that reason, a dehumidifier can come in really handy. And the last one is, of course, our own health. With all this water in the room and the different spores and things that we're breathing in, it can be a great idea just to have an air purifier anyway. And most dehumidifiers also purify the air in some way or another. So those are the reasons you might want to consider a dehumidifier. Some downsides or reasons you might want to avoid it is, it comes with a uh, upfront capital cost. This guy here was, I think about 400 or $500, which is certainly not enjoyable for anyone to shell out. As well as that, you're gonna have a running cost. This unit here, I believe, is very economical at 490 watts, which it's still something, but I'm pretty happy with that for what I believe that it's gonna achieve. Look out for ones with eco mode and so forth that, uh, especially in stable environments like an insulated fish room, it's not really gonna have to uh, deal with swings that uh, it would outside in a normal house environment. However, as with anything, it's always a struggle to have some additional power draw, some additional outlets to find, and all those sorts of things in a fish room. So uh, I can understand people wanting to avoid that. As well as that, this guy does work on a fan, so it's gonna come with a little bit of noise. I've heard that this guy here is particularly quiet as well, which I'm hoping to test out later on. But uh, some older dehumidifiers in particular used to be very, very noisy and clunky, as with any of those older fans. So um, it's another thing that's gonna be creating that uh, ambient noise as well within the environment that might make it a bit uncomfortable. Speaking of newer dehumidifiers, uh, the cool thing about these guys now is that they have a fair bit of tech in them. See, this one in particular has three fan settings, so you can choose to um, you know, use it to whatever you're comfortable with. It has something called laundry mode, which I think puts out more heat to heat up the room, especially in winter, so that those wet and thick uh, clothes actually dry, which I think might have a really good application here in a fish room. And um, we'll test it out to see if I can heat the room only with this. Most dehumidifiers these days have a collection vessel, which might hold you know, about two liters or half a gallon or something around that, not very much water, but most of them have an outlet that you can actually hard plumb into somewhere like a laundry sink, which I've got over in the corner over there. So most of the time you can uh, just have it constantly flowing water out um, outside of whatever room you're, you're heating. And in the case of this unit, the container is right here, just slides off the front. 
you can see it's pretty big. I'm sure you could go by emptying this every day or so, but um, yeah, for me, I'll definitely be hard plumbing it because I've got drains that I can access easily. And these days they're pretty sleek, pretty small, and most of them even come on wheels. So it's pretty easy to wheel them around, put them somewhere that you're not gonna really stumble over them or notice them, and just hide them away because we don't really want this to be the centerpiece of the room, especially when we can look back at things like that. Another downside is that by removing humidity from the air, you might be encouraging more evaporation as the atmosphere tries to balance out. So you might find that your fish tanks are draining a lot faster than they were before, especially open top uh, fish tanks. So if you've only got a few tanks in the room and you're finding it quite humid, it might be an idea instead of picking up something like this to attempt uh, covering them all with lids. That's definitely gonna help with that evaporation and associated humidity. So give that a go first, but if you've got 10 or more aquariums in an insulated room, then you're definitely gonna have humidity issues and this, as far as I'm aware, is the best way to tackle it. So let's plug this guy in now and take a look at what it's gonna sound like when it's running and what you can sort of expect in terms of features and uh, functionality. Okay, so I've got the unit running. I've had a bit of a play around with it now. I've set the room on about 50% humidity. It has warmed up, you know, maybe a degree or so in here, but nothing too crazy. Uh, and the other thing is, as well is it is super, super quiet. So uh, you can't even notice it at all over the sound of my normal central air pump anyway. So I'm definitely happy with this uh, pickup here. And yeah, the noise I can say is absolutely non-existent when you're running other large air pumps in the room. So there you go guys, that's a bit of an introduction into dehumidifiers and why you might want to run one. Some people run them continuously, some people only run them when they're in the room. It really depends on how you're heating your space, but if it's not being used really as the heat source, then you can probably just run it uh, as you wish or as needed. So long as you keep in mind that there is gonna be an inherent cost to it, but it is gonna make your life a whole lot more comfortable, then I hope you've been able to make an informed decision. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them down below. I always try to answer as many as I can. And if it has helped you out, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe, and all that fun stuff. But to leave off the video, I'll definitely say that I'm really pleased with uh, getting a dehumidifier. It's gonna make my fish room life a whole lot easier. And I uh, hope if you do decide to go through with it, that it makes yours easier too. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.